Hey guys, this is Guadalupe. She has had tremendous pain in her feet for over 15 years. She's a school teacher, can't stand standing on her feet. She is dying here, guys. We are going to treat her in this video. You get to see her go from severe pain to no pain in just a couple days. She's been to a ton of chiropractors, which have not helped her over the years. She's been a podiatrist, had orthotics, which is zero help. She has a ton of other symptoms, including headaches, vertigo, constipation, anxiety, depression, and she even sees these little black lines that she can't understand that are driving her nuts. So we tested her feet, and as you can see, couldn't stand on them, tons of pain. We took some x-rays of her spine and saw the problem, imbalance. We adjusted her, and you won't believe your eyes. Giddy up. Uh, my first name is Lupe. I'm 46 years old, and I work um, at a school. I'm a campus monitor. I walk a lot. I uh, take care of the kids. Uh, most of the time during lunches and breaks. Plantar fasciitis. fasciitis. What is that? Explain it to uh, them. Which is, um, it's a pain under my, uh, a really bad, sharp pain under my um, feet. feet. And you do, your your job is walking, so it, it hurts all the time. That's my job, walking. Gotcha. How much does it bother you? It bothers me. A, a, uh, I cry with this pain. It makes me cry. And the pain goes uh, like nine, from one to ten, nine. I was. How many years you've had it? I had this problem for a long time. I have fifteen years working where I work right now, and I have this uh, pain for probably that time. Gotcha. That period of time. So have those headaches that they they don't go away. Uh -huh. I always have to be taking uh, painkillers. I'm right? a little dizzy. She has trouble with uh, constipation, diarrhea, bowel controlling her bowels. Anxiety. It's been for a long time. I don't remember exactly how long, but with this anxiety, I have a lot. Lately, I've been getting those black lines, especially when I'm out there taking care of the kids walking around. They just come, those black lines, and um, well, they bother me because I'm afraid I might have something else. Depression also setting in. This I week. would say thank you to my husband because uh, he, she was worried that she wasn't going to I was worried get... that I was not going to be able to make it this week, but thank God I did. How much pain are you back there? I three or four. Stand up. Back like this. Yeah, because it's just one. Like a three. Three, like a three? Three or four, yeah. Gotcha. And then with your neck, look at the floor. How much pain in your neck? Yeah. I would say uh, three. Three. Look at the ceiling, please. How about that? Uh, this will be like a four. Gotcha. Four, and then look straight ahead. And she already has told us she has a five out of ten headache and five out of ten uh, mm -hmm. imbalance. And so spread your feet a little bit. Squat. Okay, don't touch your knees, come on up. How much pain your knees or back? Yeah, I've got four or five. Gotcha, you see how unbalanced she is? Now we're gonna really challenge her balance and her feet. We wanna see how much. Yeah. So when you do this, I'm gonna have you stand up on your toes. Tell us how much your feet hurt when you stand up on your toes. Five seconds, baby. On my toes. Toes closer together. No, 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 toe. There you my, go, now stand up on your toes. Okay. Five seconds. Oh, this is how much pain in your feet? This is painful. This is like how much? A, like a six or? Why are you bouncing around? But, well, I can't. Why? It's like, because I don't have balance. Gotcha. Okay, Just now put them down, put them down. That's about three or four seconds. <gasps> now up on your heels, on your heels. Five seconds there. How much pain in your feet? I can't. Okay, this is a really sharp pain. Where? Uh, especially yeah, on my uh, on my left. Uh, can I just hold myself? No, you can't. <laughs> we want to see you fall. Don't we, guys? Do we want to see you fall? No, it's on my, on my, especially on this yeah. one, on my left. Uh, How much pain? Like an eight. An eight, gotcha, put it down, put it down, oh. okay, gotcha. I've been to many, like four uh, chiropractors. Four different chiropractors? Four different ones, yeah. How about uh, foot specialists, any pe uh, uh, podiatrists? I, I did, yeah. Gotcha. I even got special... Um, orthotics? Orthotics. Yeah, orthotics are a and waste of time, guys, waste of money. And it didn't work. Gotcha, it didn't work, all. right? And so you're gonna see her get better on camera. You ready, baby? I'm ready. Good. Okay, Lupe's x-rays are surprisingly in pretty good shape. Surprisingly. They are? Yes, wow. I am shocked. So uh, my outlook for her is way better than I thought it would be because her symptoms tell me that she's in pretty bad shape. But her x-rays don't show as much um, deterioration and uh, postural issues as I would imagine. Wow. So I'm kind of excited to work on her because um, we're going to see what we can do. And uh, Look at the x-rays. I think we have 
every right to think she's going to get a lot better really quick. Oh, hopefully. I know. Yes. I, so I think that personally the reason she's in such bad shape is she's probably a little crazy and she probably tries too hard. She's a little bit manic about her posture and a manic about how she does things, which we need to change, which we'll get to that. That's, that's not the easy part, but it's a part we can work with. X-rays reveal slight left imbalance, big left TMJ, 12 degree scoliosis. Here we have a 10 millimeter short right leg, 10 millimeter left pelvic rotation, eight degree curve. Slight neck reversal, big old EOP on the back of the head, sway back and evidence of that constipation she's complaining about. Definitely a high reverse curve, but way better than Maria. There we go, good. Wow, you can hardly hear that because um, it was tight, but um, it went. How much pain was that? When you did that twist, it was like a nine. A nine, really, uh -huh. really, okay. So um, I did it twice because it needed to go. Yeah, because I was tight. She was tight, yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, that was a good one. I like to help my first time patients up from the table, a little lightheaded sometimes, and then I tell them not to twist and turn or they will undo my work. Let's check in on Guadalupe, see how she's doing. I'm just relaxed. Different than before? Different. Yeah. As you guys know, this is recalibration, spreading the neck adjustment through the entire body. Has to be done. Let's see how she's doing now. Well, I feel dizzy? much better. Well, kind of dizzy at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's like a big relief. What kind of relief? Why don't you uh, tell them what it means to be relieved? Uh, like the pain that I had in the morning, I was feeling like uh, very bad, very dizzy, especially on my right hand side of my, um, with the face and also my my foot, my feet, both of them. This morning? This morning. Yeah, and well, just a few minutes ago. Yeah. We just tested, it was eight or nine out of 10. Yeah, ago, right? so I feel- I feel something feels different, right? Something went, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Really good. <sighs> that was a three, I think, a minute ago. Four, maybe three, I think it was a three. What is that now? No, Still a three? I don't feel pain. Can I stand up? Okay. Back like this. How about that three? That oh. was a three. No. Okay, put it down. Zero. Look at the floor, please, of your neck. That was a three also. No. Look at the ceiling, please. That was a four. I don't feel pain. Okay, look at the camera and tell her how much headache you have right now. It was a five a minute ago. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> why? this is unbelievable, but <laughs> no, I don't have a headache. Okay, how, when you take Tylenol and all those drugs you take to get rid of your headaches, does it work this good ever? No. Okay, now how about your dizziness? Your, how's your dizziness? You were a five a minute ago on dizziness scale. I feel okay, I feel great. Okay, now spread your feet. Let's squat to the ground, please. This was a four, and you had no control, and you're falling all over the place. Stand up. Look at you, baby. Great. How much pain in your knees or back? Not at all. And how did it feel? It felt stronger, right? It does. Okay, now she's here for what? Why did you come to me? Why are you spending all this money to come see me? For your cup, foot, my your feet. foot, my feet. Now yeah. put your feet together. Let's stand up on your toes. Five seconds. Five seconds. Wow. What? Well, well, I don't know. Stand what wow means. What does wow mean? It feels good. No well, how pain? much pain in your no feet? No pain. No pain. You were six <laughs> a second ago. <laughs> no. Okay, now on your heels, please. On your heels. That was an that eight was, or nine. That was my. That was your toes. Now your heels. Okay. Stand up on your heels. No, other way. Other way. Like this. This. There you go. That was an eight or a nine, I think, a minute ago. Like a four? Like a four? Not that, no. So what do you think of this shit? Oh my God. <sighs> great. I'm sorry to push you so hard to stay here, but I know we great. have great things we can do for you, but you got to get here and stay here so we can change your life forever. Make sense? It does. You happy? It does. I'm happy. I'm Good. glad that I'm here. Okay, so uh, you gonna cry on camera like Maria did? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Say goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, like a seven. Like a seven. Okay. We're giving our first neck adjustment in the chair. Just let your head fall to the right here, please. A little more rounded shoulders. There you go. Beautiful. Just like that. A little more. Right. There you go. Let me have your neck. Oh wow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. I didn't expect that. She is really, really tight down there. Loosen her lower neck up. Okay, drop the shoulders forward a little bit. There mm. we go. Good. And that went pretty good. That one was awesome. Well, this week it's uh, been so, um, I would say, uh, awesome. I'm learning a lot. 
with Dr. Fair. Fair and <laughs> uh, I learn how to focus, how to identify any pain that I feel. And once I identify that pain, I just um, uh, act and uh, follow his instructions. And so what I can get relief of the pain. Yep, from what I tell you, right? Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. It was a nine when I first came And this here. was foot pain. Foot pain. She came with a nine out of 10 pain. Nine. Uh, what does she have now? This is so incredible. It's like a 0.5. Uh, this will be my fifth day, <laughs> one week. We haven't even treated her fifth days. This is only no, four no. days. Four days, yes, yep. that's four right. Four days we've only yeah. treated her. Is that I'm going to stay next week. Why? I want you to tell them why you why? think it's so important now. Because I really want to focus on myself. I want to get better and get rid of any pain that I have. I don't want to have no pain at all. Gotcha. And you've seen the benefit of what's going on, and you know that more time working on what I'm telling you is going to help even more. <laughs> That's exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, really bad pain. Yep, yeah, really bad pain. On my right hand side, I can I cannot handle it. It's like yeah. a 10. Breathe. Slow, deep breaths. You do eight pans in the chair. Eight pans, eight pans. Last changa. Good. Oh, I like it. Good. She had her cycle this weekend, and she says that normally her cycle puts her down for a week. Yes, Sunday. But tell us how it was different this weekend. And what it's happened It's amazing. This it's amazing that, uh, no, not even for a nap to be on bed laying down. No. I was, I was up. I was feeling good. And you're able to do your thing. And even I, though it still hurts. She told me she had some issues, but yeah, very light. But really light. Yeah. That was, uh, I was, uh, Impressed with that, with the pain, that it was light. Yeah, yeah. Not like before. Uh, also, she went to breakfast, and yeah. breakfast was normally, she goes and all the people there there are very stressful and, the, you know, waiting in line and all that kind of stuff. And what did she do? What did you do? That was a positive thing? I told my husband there's a lot of people, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to stress myself. And I'm going to do my uh, walk, my 10-minute walk, relax, with my A pants, and I didn't care about the people. And how'd you feel? I feel great. And normally you would have normally problems? Normally I would be mad and then my muscle pain will pop out like my hand, my head. And I, this time, no pain. No pain. Yeah, we call that road rage on the freeway, but maybe we should start calling that breakfast rage. Yes, we should. Okay, let's get started. Can I try, please? Good. Hopefully that's not weird. You're doing great. Come this way. <laughs> Tell the people out there how that felt different than the other adjustments. Or did it feel different? I think it was more strong, like, uh, I feel more relief. More relief? Yes. So this atlas, again, is mm -hmm. right under the cranium here, mm -hmm. right under the skull. And she can feel me attach my hand right there. Yeah, it's mm. yeah. Oh. First clavicle adjustment. Okay, this is going to hurt a lot, by the way. Breathe in for me. Yeah. Oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> okay, one more on this side. This okay. is your bad side, so. This is my bad side. Yeah, can you be? So it's gonna freaking hurt uh, so lovely and badly. Oh I my be, god. I can be lovely. It could be lovely. Okay, breathe in for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really scared. I'm really scared now. <laughs> so she was really tough to adjust last mm. week at this. So I can't wait to see what happens now after all this has changed. Okay, we have it here. Good. There you go. Wow. I didn't even hear it because of the paper. Sorry, I have the paper. I no, forgot. but it was. But that moved a lot. I feel, yeah. Can you come towards me, please? Good. Come bring your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to do two in a row because I want to get the, uh, make sure the joint is moved. Okay. <laughs> she has a little posteriority, a little sway back right down here. So I think we're going to do it down here. Breathe in and breathe out. I needed that. <laughs> Why do you say you needed that? Right 
How painful is adjustment though? It was painful. It was? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna hurt more. You know, the funny thing is, is that the longer you've been with me, mm -hmm. the more whiny you're getting. We just taught you how to sit. Now we're gonna teach you how to sleep next. And we'll do that God. when we come back for the next visit. God. Thank God. One more day. <laughs> well, I'll listen to you. <laughs> I feel great, but it's just thinking of, oh, oh, my neck. My program breaks down the fundamentals of sleep into three categories, pillow, bed, and sleep position. These are all crucial to quality of treatment in my office. Without discussing how to sleep properly and giving good instructions of proper posture, bed, and pillow, we can't create an environment that will stabilize and hold the treatment that we've been working on for the last two weeks. At the beginning, I was not sure, uh, but uh, it's been... Uh, not sure how? Just real like, quick on that. What uh, do you mean, not sure? Not sure that uh, I was going to get... Um, uh, fix or adjust from the doctor. I didn't trust him at all, to be <laughs> honest with you guys. I came here with uh, horrible pain on my plantar um, fasciitis. Fasciitis, yeah, your feet? My feet. How many years? <sighs> For years, what, like? You said 15, 15 before, years, uh, yeah, 13, yeah, 15 years, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And um, my pain went away. Uh, that's uh, incredible. Been uh, grateful to, to be here. Um, it really works. Headaches, How's nonstop. Uh, I would take painkillers uh, almost what every day. How, how are your headaches now? Uh, no headaches. Vertigo. Gone. Yeah, gone. Ringing in your ears. Uh, no more. The retinitis is gone. Yeah. Loose bowels or what? Are the, your bowels? You said you had un uncontrollable or something like that. Uncontrolled. Yeah. Why well, go frequently? Uh huh. Yeah. They feel more firm. More firm like yeah. yeah. Like oh, you feel like you have more control. More control of that. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. How'd you sleep? Restful. Restful. Much better. Okay. Uh, way much better than before. How'd you sleep last night? Oh. Anxiety? Depression? Mm -mm. Nope. Anxiety change, you're saying? It did. Good. Black lines in your vision? No black lines. Well, yeah. I really thank God for bringing me here. Yeah. And I think the doctor, he does a really great job. Yeah. I yeah. really recommend him. Yeah. Good. Show us all your hand positions you have. When I drive? Yep. One. That's another one. Good. Hands on there too, right? Good. So we put these down here. Again, to build up that hole that's in the seat. What does that feel like? Much better. Like instantly, instantly different, huh? Instantly, yes. And that's how you want to drive. Okay. Now, to prove that that stuff underneath your butt makes it feel better, reach under and take it out. How's that feel now? No. Instantly different, Same. huh? 